profile several nonprofit organizations in the book who do a really good job in terms of harnessing social media. We talk about Embrace, we talk about Kiva, we also talk about Hope Lab. Hope Lab is a nonprofit organization whose first product is called Remission. Remission is a first person shooter game targeted to kids with cancer. And in this game, Remission, the child takes on an avatar, Roxy, and they cruise through the body and they search for ugly cancer cells. And what's so amazing about Hope Lab is that not only is this game developed based on scientific research that shows why behavior does change, um, but that the mechanism by which this game operates, why it's so effective, is really based on fun, excitement, commingled with fear. So this notion that fun and excitement could drive behavior change in such a dramatic way was informative to the dragonfly effect. One of the most powerful stories to come out of our work researching the dragonfly effect was that of Nike's We Portal. Nike's 30,000 employees worldwide and they have already, as of two years ago, had four separate employee portals for community giving. The folks at the corporate level, however, thought they could take the latent power of, of the employees and build a global portal built on web technology that create effectively a marketplace and then, as a company, effectively get out of the way and let things happen. Rather uniquely, didn't focus on uh, some of the more conventional ways you might look at employee giving, such as simply giving money or volunteering, um, but in addition to that, the opportunity to give expertise. If you have uh, a huge Twitter following or you have influence with a certain group, you could lend your voice to an opportunity. Nike also built on top of it a system where employees could actually get points for volunteering and these points were made visible as part of an individual employee's profile and so if you were to try to seek mentorship from another employee in the company you could see how they give back and in the process of doing this Nike developed a set of rules that were about making it centralized but allowing people to do things in their own way, and particularly among different locations, the European operations versus the U.S. operations, for example, people had different ideas of what giving back was. So whereas in the U.S. we conventionally think of giving back as to doing something for people less fortunate, and in Europe it was more about helping your neighbor. As of two months ago when we last checked in with them, over 10 percent of Nike's 30,000 employees had already signed up and participated in the program. The Dragonfly Effect is for anyone determined to achieve a clear goal using the social web. It doesn't matter if you're in a large company or a small company, nonprofit, government, or personal setting, you can quickly put it to work. Inspiring infectious action and becoming shockingly effective as a result is easier than you think.